Okay. All right. So guys, we're talking about breast duct ectasia. Um, breast duct ectasia can also be called mammary duct ectasia. Milk clog, like milk is actually clog in the breast ducts. Understand? Like breast ducts are basically things channels from the lobules. They are coming to the nipple. Do you understand? Are coming to the nipple. So. They are basically being blocked. Yeah. They are basically being blocked, right? That's what breast duct ectasia means. So it's also known as well, mammary duct ectasia. It's a benign condition that affects the milk ducts in the breast. Okay. So the milk ducts beneath the nipple. Okay. Their walls flatten. Okay. So there's fluid buildup and blockage, right? So the fluid, uh, fluid buildup and blockage is what will now lead to um, is what will now lead to what inflammation that's usually associated with uh, everything there. You understand? So symptoms is a uh, nipple discharge, right? So it's often thick or sticky, maybe green or black or blood tinged, showing you that what the breast milk is kind of like becoming fermented. Breast tenderness or pain, redness or swelling around the nipple. A lump behind the nipple, inverted nipple. The nipple is turning inwards. Okay? So, cause this is um, mostly women that are, are approaching menopause, but can actually occur at any age. Though, smoking can increase the risk. Bacterial infection can contribute to the inflammation. Right. So, most of the times, there's no treatment. Right. Warm compress and antibiotics may be used to relieve it. Right. Surgical removal of the affected dogs may be necessary. Okay. So that's it for this condition of the breast.